Well, as we get ready to take a look at our livestock trade, we want to go back to Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures, and he's based in Chicago. But before I do, a, a big unveiling here of, in another way. Oliver, congratulations. Uh, we are speaking right now with one of the newest married members among the uh, U.S. population. Oliver Slope just got married <laughs> over the weekend. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, thank you. I think it might uh, go down in the books as my best trade ever. So Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I believe about the time you uh, took off for the, uh, the grand event, I, I think that's when the markets fell apart. So um, anyway, good to have you back talking with you on this for a little bit. Let's <laughs> see what the live cattle market is doing this morning. And uh, again, our congratulations to you and the missus, Oliver. Uh, June live cattle, now a nickel higher at 115.35. August not doing much, it's up one tick at 118.85. Feeder cattle market here in the early going. We have the August now up 85 cents at 152 even per hundred on the lean hog market. The lean hogs have June now 30 cents higher at 109.02. July up 27 at 109.27 per hundred weight. So things kind of uh, narrowly narrowly higher on the uh, livestock trade in general. Oliver, can you even read much into this action? Well, yeah, I'm back at the desk, so of course things quiet down quite a bit more. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I, this June, June cattle is, is very interesting here. We went back and filled that gap from May 7th on Thursday, kind of fluttered around there on Friday, and now just hanging, or, or hanging around again here in the early morning session. We really want to see uh, the bulls get a little bit more footing here going forward. If we fail to get out above 116, 116.25 through the first half of this week's trade, I wouldn't be surprised to see that put additional pressure on the market and a break and close below those lows lows from Thursday at 114.70 would potentially open the door for uh, new lows for the move, which came in on May 4th at about 112.57. So we need to get something going here shortly, and hopefully we can see the cash market offer a little bit of support to the market, but we'll just have to uh, take it one day at a time here. All right. Well, excellent information. And Oliver, again, all the best to you and Mrs. Slope now as you begin your journey together. Uh, thanks for uh, taking time to talk with us on what has been a very busy weekend. Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Janet, how about that? A newlywed here yeah. on the Market Day Report.